Hi guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to IC London, IC France. I'm London. And I'm France. We responded to a fellow YouTuber's video on request challenge, hashtag video on request challenge. And that YouTuber is Floor, and her YouTube channel name is F Sunflower, F space Sunflower, all lowercase. Mm -hmm. You can also find her on Instagram. We'll link her Instagram and YouTube channel in our video and down below. She is a YouTuber who is originally from Uruguay, and she just, not just, but she recently, sort of recently moved to Canada and lives there with her husband now. They recently got married. Um, congratulations, yes. Floor, in, in video form. <laughs> and um, she has videos. She does a lot of collaborations in her videos. She has some fun Zumba videos, um, some videos on psychology. Um, she was the original starter of the video on request challenge, and she challenged us to this video. Yes. This so, monster of a challenge, this but exciting. Challenge. It was. So this did take a lot to make. So four messaged us and said our challenge was to make a traditional Uruguayan. I think so. Uh, I think that's right. Okay, a traditional Uruguayan treat um, that's homemade, and she says typically. Um, they eat this on a rainy day, and that is we've got some tortas fritas here with dulce de leche, and we made this ourselves. Um, yeah, the best <laughs> first try, but it but, burnt once, but it's okay. I think it's okay. It smells divine. Yeah. And then also um, yerba mate, and that is a tea from the yerba mate plant, and it makes mate tea. Um, now. Traditionally, you need to buy the loose leaf mm -hmm. tea. Um, there's a special straw. It's a metal straw, and um, typically they just pour hot water into the loose leaf tea. Um, I know that there's a, like a certain process they use with it. YouTube that if you want to see especially how it's done. But um, talk to Flora, and I said, hey, if we find the tea bags, can we just use that? And so we found some um, yerba mate tea bags. Yeah. And so we. I, we I just, love tea, so I'm excited. We just microwaved some water, and <laughs> we. Put our I tea saw bags mine that it was like. It was from Europe or something. It was like, uh, do Americans really microwave water to heat it up? Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. It's convenient. It is okay? convenient. And also, my cat's knocked over our water boiler, so. Well, there's that. <laughs> so, we'll show you some pictures of traditional um, finished tortas fritas. Um, um, we did our best. We did. And... Honestly, they look pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not mad about the way no. it turned out. Um, traditionally, that name, um, or not traditionally, if you translate it, that name means fried cakes or fried pies, and it also is traditionally served with dulce de leche, which is almost kind of like, like a syrupy, like almost like an icing. Yeah. Um, and also like with a syrup of tea. And um, dulce de leche, so. Um, interesting way this was formed. So the story goes that um, in Buenos Aires, when a serving woman, so like when a maid of somebody was preparing um, la lechada, <laughs> I act yeah, like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I We researched some of this and we made some notes, so bear with us. Um, but she was heating sugar and milk on the stove and um, she left, walked out of the room, kind of like, wait, what happened with us and um, she came back and she noticed that the um, that the milk had become darker than usual almost like a brown substance which is what we have here well the mine kind of did this thing where it was like <laughs> <laughs> it pulled over um, and so she um, I guess she apparently tried it and she um, called it Dolce de Leche um, which translates into milk candy because it is very sweet and very simple ingredients too there's just some um, full fat milk in here, sugar, baking soda, and vanilla. Pretty easy. Yeah. It makes this delicious. Just a little time consuming. Yeah. But worth it. And so I looked it up even further too. So there is a difference between the dulce de leche that they make in Argentina um, versus Uruguay. The one in Uruguay is made with only milk and sugar. Um, and the one from Argentina is made with vanilla and baking soda added to it as well. So we made the Argentina version. Which... I'm not mad about because it smells really good. Yeah. So thanks, Flora, for nominating this. We're going to try yes. the foods yet. We have not tried them. We've just smelled them.
Yeah. It's like smoky green tea. I like it. That's good. I can do that too. That's nice. Yum. All right, so we'll take some of this. Oh, um, another thing too, we had some dough left over from when we made the holes in the tortas fritas. And I was like, hey, let's fry them. And so we have these cute little, little puff balls now. Yes. All right, I'm gonna grab one. And I think I'm gonna yeah. stir this a little, a little bit. We also um, poured a little bit of some granulated sugar on top just to add some sweetness to it mm -hmm. because the dough itself doesn't have any sweet ingredients. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Not overpowering sweetness at all. That's my favorite type of dessert. Mm -hmm. Almost up front, it tastes a little bit like a funnel cake, but it's not as sweet. And I yeah. love how light and airy this is. It's like and a funnel cake and a biscuit made a baby. Yep. I want it. This is great. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. If I was in your flat, I'd want it to rain every day. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. I don't know if Americans have like any rainy day food. Mm -hmm. It's, like it's pretty much always pizza, hamburgers, and fries. No, that's that's generalizing a lot, but we do have a lot of pizza restaurants and fast food restaurants. Yeah, we do. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. And cozy and comforting, so I see why rainy days. Yeah. You want to make this? Mmm. Another thing too. I get excited. Cute. I love it. We made this with lard. Mm. The recipe we found, and we'll link that in the comments below, as well in our description. We'll link both recipes we use, and if we can find the type of yerba mate tea we purchased, we'll do that as well. But um, some of the recipes say you can use vegetable shortening rather than lard, but I know it's more of the traditional recipes called for your lard. So, glad we use lard. Mm -hmm. Probably not the healthiest treat, but <laughs> in moderation, everything in moderation, go to town. This is delicious with mm -hmm. that. I think you would need something with it or be too dry. You absolutely would. This is like the perfect amount of sweetness. Mm -hmm. I was surprised actually that wasn't as much sugar as I thought there would be in that. Hmm. That's what? One and three quarters? One and one, mm, fourth. one fourth cup. Mm hmm. Mm. That was so good. This did take a long time to make for us. Mm -hmm. So, um, we did make the dough from scratch. Mm -hmm. The ingredients we used were flour, baking soda, salt, and milk, and lard and butter. So there were some <laughs> additional ones, but um, it's so easy to make. And I didn't even—we didn't have a roller, y'all. No, we just we just hand. Well, you'll see. I've, and I you'll feel this is. consistency of the dough for when it's right for you. Um, but man, thank you for. Yeah, I mean honestly, this, this is worth it. At first we were like, "Wow, this is a lot of work for this video," but then we're like, "Yeah, yeah mm. let's do it again." So make sure you guys check out Flora's channel. Make sure you like and subscribe to her channel as well. And also check her out on Instagram. Um, her content is great. And, you know, we have kind of made a little YouTube friendship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's been so neat. She's been really welcoming. She has been. She's been so kind um, and supportive. And it's nice when you find a fellow YouTuber who mm -hmm. you also, like, genuinely like their content. Mm -hmm. So... That's, yeah, this was awesome not like a sub for sub. No. This was a, oh, we like her. We do like her a lot. <laughs> And um, so after this, we are going to pick three fellow YouTubers mm -hmm. and nominate them for the video on request challenge. So we will, um, <laughs> I almost said post and comment at the same time it came out, pa. We will post down in the description below who we ended up nominating mm -hmm. and what their challenge ended up being for the video on request challenge. Yes. If you want to look up more YouTubers who are doing this challenge, Type in the hashtag video on request challenge, all one word, which is how hashtags work, and um, look up the other videos that are out there. I know Flora made the cutest one about how her husband and hers 
love story. I was going to say how they met. It's adorable. And don't forget to also like and subscribe to our video and our channel. We would love to have you join our little YouTube family. And as always, remember, you take take care care of each other. other. And enjoy tortoise frites together. That was pretty uh, hard. We came in pretty hot there. (laughs)